all right what's up guys welcome to the channel and today i'm gonna feature to you the same team i've used a couple of days ago and this is actually a very good one i didn't have any negative sets yet most of it was positive but i had a bunch of three twos and one five and oh the five and oh one is gonna be this video and i like my battles here i think they are kind of entertaining so that's why i decided to put it out in youtube and let's get back to the battle so i decided to bait with the foul play since i feel like they might shield since most people shield the close combat and that's what i learned over my usage of this team and berserker it acts like as my safe switch but i'm gonna come in with a helper and just absorb this foul play and wing attack them down and now the counter user is out of the way and Galarian Stunfist will be free to operate and I'm going straight for the earthquake I don't want to bait but we simply tie and I'm gonna show this up since bulldoze I'm not sure how much damage input it does to a Galarian Stunfist but I'm gonna shield it anyways I shielded there but there was some kind of glitch but here comes the earthquake this earthquake will do yeah a lot it did KO Run zone and go straight for the rock slide. Although the Elanimar right it doesn't have any move that will one shot my Galarian Stunfist from this range, and they're gonna dump their energy. The shield is out of the way, right? But I still have Pelper. It does have some energy. It, it does have a, a charge move ready. All right. Okay. So here comes the weather ball. This will put this Elanimar right kind of low. All right. So this is great. And I need to get another one or no, never mind. They're gonna use their energy, which is great. I could come in with their Stunfisk. Oh, so they undercharge. Oh, wow. All right, so Pelper is gonna have, an, it has another weather ball. They, they're probably not aware of that, but heads up play to them. They knew what they need to do. They saw the win con, but, and we have, we just had that, a lot of energy. But here comes an, onto the next one against some Meganium. Actually, the friendship plan does a lot, so I, I did a chill here. I decided like to see like how much damage does how much damage does a friendship plan do to a Pelipper, and I feel like they're gonna farm it down. And this Meganium is using its energy really. Like I felt like they noticed that I come in with a Steel type, and they're gonna stay in, right? So I'm going for the foul play. I did farm up a bit just to have some energy. And they're gonna shield the foul play, so that's suspicious. And I'm gonna shield mine as well, since that friendship bot will do a lot. Even though I'm a steel type, Berserker will definitely go down to the friendship plant from that range. But here comes another foul play, another shield, so that's pretty weird, right? And they come in with Skarmory, uh, I mean Altario, <laughs> my bad. And they have some energy with the. Meganium, and I'm gonna come in with, of course, Gunner Stunfisk. And we're gonna take the Sky Attacks and the Dragon Breath damage that will add up. It's such a good fast move, and our health is slowly, slowly going down. And I did farm up a bit, and I think I will farm up a bit after this one. Then that is the correct play, unfortunately. Oh, we simply tied. Uh, Actually, that was a very ugly play from my end. I should have, you know, just farm up a bit since we're, you know, we, <laughs> I took uh, sky attack damage. But anyways, I'm trying to swap to Berserker to catch something <laughs> from the Meganium. I thought they're gonna switch to Meganium, but weirdly enough, uh, they come in with was the Elden right shoe and then they throw the wild charge for some reason and I will have a rock slide ready all right so that wiped them out and they're gonna be forced to use their energy now they I think they have a ton of energy don't they but I'm gonna throw this weather ball immediately so that's gonna be a, a good game all right that's a win so it's like the second win of this set. Pelipper. Yeah, it's Pelipper's like the MVP of this set. It's been helping me out wins. And yeah, it, it's just it's a good Pokemon. And here comes Polyrath. I'm, I'm not gonna shield this up since I know you know they don't have any move that will that is really threatening. 
but I'm going to sure for the hurricane. Uh, yeah, I think this is risky if they shield it up. But anyways, they let it go through, so that's gonna be good. And now the polar red is gone. I think Berserker and Blast Stompfist will be great in this uh, in this uh, particular game. And it comes the throw the flash cannon. It didn't do a lot. And I'm gonna come in for circle meeting the Azuma bro. I still have Lana Stuff at the back, so that's gonna be fine. We're gonna be able to handle Reggie Steel. And all I can do is just throw this close combat back to back. Excuse me. So here comes an ice beam. Well, unfortunately, we see MP Tai, but I didn't chill since I knew that I will survive as you know, an ice beam since it's resisted. And here comes another close combat. It lands. That's great. And I'm going to come in with Pelipper and throw this weather ball. They might be at another ice beam ray, uh, another ice beam charge move. But I'm going to show if they ever get to another one. So we see MP Tai. So I'm going to shield that up. Alright, so I'm going to throw another weather ball and then come in with Glorious Down Fist to match it. This Azumar will down if they don't shield. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I'm just going to attack it down. So that works as well. Uh, I'm gonna come in with Gary Stumpfist, and I think, yeah, they they are at the focus blast at this point. So I let it go through. Actually, I don't know uh, how much focus blast does to a Gary Stumpfist. So what I did was kind of risky, but like I'm right, I'm open to making mistakes to just to see how much input does a focus blast does. To Glaring Stump Face, but I'm gonna shield this one since another Focus Blast will definitely remove Glaring Stump Face. But they decide to quit the game, so that's gonna be a good game. So we're pulling out some great wins here, and yeah, it's just amazing. It's so fun to use this team. And against Alola Marowak, I, I believe we win this matchup like in one shield, right? So I'm gonna farm up a bit, try the Weather Ball. And this weather ball will do a lot. And they decide to shield it up. And I'm not gonna shield this up even though they throw a shadow ball. We, we are gonna survive. But it's just gonna be a shadow bone. And they decide to do a quick swap to the Oxys. The Oxys into Berserker. Our foul play will do super effective damage to them. And the only thing I need to watch out for is the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt will definitely KO Berserker from this range. And then yeah so they have i'm gonna shield this up even though okay so it's a psychic boost the axis and i'm not gonna shield this up since the attack have been extremely debuffed it goes through and we survive it and here comes another foul play if they shield this up it will be terrible since you know, they will have a lot of energy but i don't know so they have they're out of shields i forgot about that anyways so i'm gonna throw pelipper in there just to chips the health of this Alola Marowak and then decide to do a quick swap to Alola Sun Slash the Bulldoze I'm not sure how powerful it is but I'm gonna shield this up just to be certain I don't wanna risk <laughs> losing this game just because I didn't shield a move that you know for on a healthy Pokemon with a lot of energy so that happened to me on the previous set where I just make mistakes that's why I I lost some some battles, but anyways, and this alone, my right did nothing to worry about. That didn't KO, doesn't KO us, so we're gonna pick up the win. So that's gonna be great. Uh, now on to the next battle of this set. Bird Pelper into a Surf Edge, pretty good lead, right? But the Leaf Blade kind of does a lot to uh, Pelper, and they're just being hard countered here. So that's unfortunate for them. And I'm going straight for the Earthquake. Well, I think I clicked the Earthquake, right? So Flamethrower lands. And oh, okay. So I'm gonna farm up a bit and throw the Earthquake. This will KO if it goes unshielded. No shield. And here comes Surf Edge. And I'm going straight for another Earthquake. Good thing I farm up. Because we could get a shield or their Pokemon. And they're just gonna counter us down. They have loaded energy, unfortunately. And coming in with Pelper will be a better play since we are inputting uh, super effective damage with our fast move. 
but we will take super effective or neutral damage from the leaf blades from the uh, surface if blade comes through and they have another one i'm gonna shield this up and throw a weather ball right i think i will undercharge the weather ball but they have another leaf blade unfortunately that's terrible <laughs> for me and the hell yes goes down by a lot and i did a quick swap to berserker since i noticed well, they're, they're, actually if i didn't switch quickly to berserker that weather ball will be gone and actually that's gonna help me out at the end of this play so a fire thunder punch coming in that's not gonna do a lot and unfortunately i have to throw this foul play because one confusion and Felper will go down and they still have uh surf edge at the back and now they kind of have some energy but i'm gonna throw this weather ball with one hp let's go wow so we won again with palper palper is the mvp of the set like i've been telling you all but anyways this is gonna be a 5 and 0 set and we also reach uh rank 20 uh, today as well i think i got to ace ace uh rank i think rank 21 is ace um, I'm gonna show you the my badge at the end of the video that I got there and yeah today is just very positive and tomorrow is gonna be ultra league and I still don't know what team to run with uh, I'm just not sure like what will work I struggle with ultra league oh, excuse me because like last year uh, last season I was like at uh, the same elo that i have right now and i never got to rank like elo 25 so that's the thing i'm gonna work on this season i hope i exit or just get out of this drought you know i've been stuck at like rank 2200 last season and i need to improve uh this season and anyway so thank you for watching if you're new to this channel and you like this video hit like and the subscribe button because I'm going to continue to have more videos like this. And thank you for watching and have a good day.